Hello, my name is Yeshim Shireli, and I'm the 2022-23 president of the American Society for Engineering Management. As a part of our spotlight series of women in engineering management, we're having short conversations with some of our members. We have ASTM member Tiffany Tichi with us today, and she will talk about her experiences within the engineering management field. Tiffany Tichi is a senior mechanical engineer, STEM advocate, TEDx international speaker, and international best-selling author of the children's book, What Can I Be?, and the author of STEM Careers from A to Z, as well as two women empowerment books. She's also the host of the Read It Right radio show and the owner of Thrive Edge Publishing and the owner and publishing consultant of Inspired Authors Publishing. She holds a bachelor's degree uh, in mechanical engineering and a master of science degree in engineering management from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. She's, a, she's currently a, a leadership studies PhD student at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. As an engineer with more than 18 years of experience, Tiffany has a passion for inspiring the next generation to engage in STEM careers and enjoys being a youth mentor. Tiffany, thank you for joining us today. Your bachelor's thank degree you. is in mechanical engineering. What led you to engineering management and how did your engineering management training help you in your career? Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I decided to go into engineering management because as stated, I was undergrad mechanical engineering from UNC Charlotte and I wanted to get a taste of more of a business side of things. And when I realized the engineering management program, you can also take MBA classes in there. So when you had those opportunities, I saw it. Um, so I took advantage of it because it allowed me to learn about processes, systems, and just utilizing it alongside with my engineering. Uh, we did a decision analysis. Those were some of the classes we took. Um, a lot of different programs of learning the process of how to tie in the management side alongside with the engineering side. So I felt that was the best choice for me um, to utilize that experience of getting my master's in engineering management from UNC Charlotte. And then as far as utilizing it, like I said, I've had 18 years of experience um, in the engineering field, but the engineer management piece gave me the opportunity to learn how to apply it to the various projects that I use um, that I've been able to take part in. I've been in the energy industry. And so utilizing the engineer management side has allowed me to look at the systems, the processes, as well as how to utilize those projects that I am tied in with um, and manage them accordingly. And so it's just been a great experience of utilizing the engineer management pro process um, and how to use it with the energy sector that I've been dealing with in the industry itself. Sounds great. Thank you. Um, you're also the author of uh, women, women Empowerment Books and very much involved in giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And I know that firsthand. Do you have any advice for women engineering managers? Yeah. Just know your worth and know that it's all about making sure we get our seat at the table. My quote from, Sir, from is, is really powerful, which it comes from um, Shirley Chisholm. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. And so engineering management is made for women, um, especially with trying to encourage more of us to represent in STEM. And so, yes, we get a seat at the table. We can pull our seat at the table, bring a folding chair, but we are just as valuable and competent um, as women in, in engineering management. Well, thank you very much. These are just short conversations that we're having, but uh, I'd like to keep you involved in ASCM if you're, uh, if you're up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you would bring a lot to the table. So please, you know, take it. We have a chair for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have to get your own chair. I here. love it. I love it. <laughs> um, uh, thank you so much for joining us today and for your contributions to STEM, engineering and engineering management. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this concludes our interview today, uh, our spotlight series, as well as professional development and networking opportunities are coming up soon. So stay with us.